Sometimes you just want to add really cool animations like this to your website. I did this yesterday and I'm going to show you how you can do the same on your website. Hi, my name is Steven. Welcome to the channel where I make building website easy for you. So what you're looking at right now is the thank you page that I created for one of my clients. So basically when someone subscribes to their email letter on their music website, they want the person to go on this thank you page. And they wanted to add a little bit of excitement to it. I'm going to show you how I did this and how you can add pretty much any animation that you want on your website. All right, as you can see, I'm logging to my WordPress dashboard right here. The first thing we need to do is to get the plugins that we need for this tutorial. So to do that, we go to plugins and add new. And under here, we we'll, we'll search for premium add-on for Elementor. This is the plugin that we're going to need for the animation. And you click install now activate okay now that we have the plugin installed the next thing we need to do is to create the thank you page so we go to pages and add new page right here i'm going to give this page a title so i'll just call it thank you and i will publish and then i'm going to edit this page with elementor and if you go back here you can see that we don't have any menu over here so I'm going to get rid of this menu right here, or this menu here. So to do that, we go to settings, and then we're going to select Elementor Canvas. All right, you can see right here that we, we've deleted the menu. Okay, the first thing we need to do now is to add a section. I'm going to add a full width section here. And then under here, I'm going to change the height to minimum height. And then I'm going to add a video background here. I'm going to click edit section. And then under style here, and then you see this option here, we're going to select the video. Now we need to put the link to the video we want to use in the background here. And then I'm going to use an animated music background. You can see here, I'm using the same video here. And to get the video, all you need to do is to go to this website called the Lottie Files. This is where you can get pretty much any kind of animation that you want for your website. And it's completely free to use these animations. All you need to do is to sign up with your email or you can just use your google account to log in as you can see here that i'm logged in here already all i need to do now is to search so i'm looking for like a music background so i'm going to search for music as you can see here we get all these animations here and you can see this is the one that i used and then i'll click on it and here you can copy the url of this video and use it directly on your website but because I want to use it as a background video, I need to download this as an MP4 file. So click on download video here and then you select this MP4 and download. And then once you download it on your computer, I'm not going to download it again because I already did. And once you download it, you go back to your WordPress dashboard. And then under here on the media library, you want to select the library here. And then you want to add new. And then here, you can drag the file and drop it here or you can just select it from your computer here and then if i go here and select videos you can see that i already have the video here I already uploaded it so i'm going to go ahead and click on the video and here you can see the url of the video this is the link to the video so we we'll just copy this link and now we can go back here and paste the link here okay now you can see that i've pasted the link here and you can see we have the video right here so you can see here that I have this gradient colors uh, over the video. So what we need to do now is to add video overlay in, on top of this video. So here you can see a uh, background overlay. So if we click on this background overlay and then we can click on classic and select image. And then I'm going to select this image right here. Here we can see we have this uh, curve right here can see that we have a curve here so we're going to add a divider so if you scroll down here you can see shape divider you select that and the button and you select a curve see we have curve and then you can invert this like this and then we can reduce the height maybe like this okay and you can update your changes you can see we have this right now so the next thing we need to do is to add a text module. So I'm going to drag this heading here and then I'm going to type thank you.
and I'm going to position it to the center and I'm going to give it a background color white okay and then I'm going to make it bigger maybe like that maybe 100 okay you can see we're getting there guys okay so you can play around with the uh you can play around with the blend mode to get it the way you want it you can use overlay but i think here i think i'm using the um color dodge here and then you can mess around with the color here a little bit so i'm going to move this a little bit like this okay so you can just mess around with it and get it the way you want it so this is what i was using i believe so to add a little bit of extra pop to the page we're going to add this kind of celebration uh, kind of thing on the page so to do that we're going to go back to the lot of files and then here we're going to search for celebration you can see you get all these different kind of celebration you can go ahead and choose uh, whichever one that you want so you can go to the next page uh, just as an example, maybe I will just use something different for uh, this tutorial. It doesn't have to be the it doesn't have to be the exact one that I use here. So maybe I can just use um, I don't know this balloon right here. I'll just take this one. So for this one, because we're not using it for the background, you can just go ahead and copy the URL of this uh, balloon here, and then we go back to Elementor Page Builder. Now we want to add the lottie file module here so type lottie here that's what we downloaded the plugin earlier the premium add-on for elementor so this premium add-on for elementor will give you access to this module for free so you just drag it here and now here is say animation JSON url so we can just paste that url here and guys you can see we're, we already have the balloon right here you can see right there so now the next thing you need to do now is to go to advanced and here custom positioning we want to set this to absolute so that will give you the freedom to move this around to put it like pretty much anywhere you want to put it on the page now that we have it here i'm going to go back to content and then i'm going to increase the size so you can see we want this big and then we we'll go back to custom positioning and then here to set the offset a little bit up here like this okay guys okay, you can see uh this is basically how you can add any animation to your website you can see right here that we have the animation right there and then we can add a text module here okay you can see i have that text module there and then i'm going to change this to 500 like that okay and then i'm going to click on the text module i'm going to give it white okay and then i'm going to center it this we can move this here okay guys so you can see that we have pretty much uh, the same thing that we have here you can see just that we are using a different animation on this one okay guys this is pretty much how you can do this with elementor but if you're using something like dv builder you will need a different plugin because you cannot use this premium add-on for elementor to do this then you need to get this uh plugin right here that called the dv supreme unfortunately this plugin is not free but I think it's worth investing in if you use the DV thing. I, I have this plugin myself. So this plugin will add extra 40 plus modules to your DV builder. You can see here you get all this in the plugin. Once you purchase the plugin, you will get all this in the plugin, including the Lottie file, which is this one right here. And they keep adding more and more. And you, you also get some extensions like pop-up. This is good because by default you cannot create a pop-up with the DV theme but with this plugin you'll be able to turn pretty much anything on your website into a pop-up if you're interested in learning how to use it to create a pop-up if you are using the DV builder 
I'll have a link in the description below to the video where I explain to you how to use this plugin to create a pop-up in the DV team if you are using the DV team. Okay, so that's pretty much how you can add any type of animation on your website by using this free website called the Lodi Files and free plugins like the Premium Add-on for Elementor or the DV Supreme plugin if you are using the DV team. And if you found value in this video, consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you on next one.